what is up everyone welcome back to another video today we are looking at driving instructor stools and wheels spins on the steepest street in england this is going to be a truly interesting video guys let's see what we got just one second look look at this when it comes to okay i saw this from the thumbnail actually but look at how steep that that road is guys you can even see scratches on the road which is it's, it's insane how many cars got destroyed here it's just crazy so let's get on with the video guys see what we got here and don't forget to smash the like button subscribe it truly helps out let's get it to learning to drive many people are taught to lift the clutch to the bite point get the car rolling and then press the accelerator pedal now that works in some cars better than others but good luck trying it here Whoa. He can't the street even walk in question up is Vale Street in Totterdown, Bristol. Crazy. And it's a lot steeper in person than it looks on camera. To give you an idea, wow. the top window of that house is lower than the bottom window of the house behind it. And there's not a great distance. There's wow, like literally, guys, from this view, you cannot tell. Like that, that's a, a slope going up. Oh my god, that is crazy. But then you look at the staircase next to it and then you realize how steep it actually is. Oh my God. Stairs, either side of the steepest part of the slope, which is over 21 degrees and handrails. And I guess those handrails are there not to prevent you from falling into the road, <laughs> just slipped over, but to um, give you something to grab hold of to help pull yourself up, particularly when it's slippery. Yeah. And the cars aren't parked parallel to the curb. They're parked at an angle. And I guess that's to stop them rolling down the hill. This is already getting yeah, it's a, a little good bit tiring. Point, I would say. I'm going to try and do a hill start on that hill in this car without pressing the gas pedal. It's a 2014 Seat Lounge with a 1.4 turbo petrol engine. Hopefully it does not get and destroyed it gives though. Me a lot of help moving away without the gas. I lift the clutch up. It adds gas for me and I can even move away uphill without pressing the gas pedal, but I'm not so hopeful on that hill. I'm gonna get my learner hat because I need excuses for stalling. And I take it off <laughs> okay. on long journeys. This is 180 miles away because with it on, I get in the low 40s to the gallon, but with it off, I can sometimes get over 50 to the gallon. I see. This in itself is a steep hill. I've had to park my wheels pointing towards the curb because I didn't trust the handbrake. So yeah, here goes, I'm going to stop on so. the steepest part of that hill and try and move away without pressing the gas. And that's right at the beginning. So turn, hopefully I don't scrape. I'm going to go uh, slow just in case I scrape. Uh, oh, I heard something, that didn't sound good. And there we go, there's the steepest part of the hill. I've stopped there now, okay. or here, should I say and when i come off the brake it won't like, roll back straight away it's, it's crazy how the sensors actually went off you know it's just imagine as he said he thought the sensors thought it was like a wall right there but bro because this car has heel hold assist and then it rolls you heard the brake start starting to let go then this is so steep oh my word no chance here we go a little bit of bite point a little bit of bite point a little bit of here we go, go on, go on. Oh, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> nearly. It nearly did it as well. I'll try again. So I'll give it a little bit more bite point this time. I'll lift the clutch a bit higher. No gas, so higher with the clutch, higher. Go on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Aha, I see what's happening. This is why I hate manual cars, man. Manual cars, like honestly, if you don't know how to drive them, you'll have trouble and most people do have troubles with manual cars that's why i don't know I, I i mainly see people with automatic cars nowadays but bro nah and install so what's happening is it's starting to roll back and then when it gets to the part of the hill that's less steep it can push me forwards but then when it gets to this steepest bit there's no chance this time I'm going to use hill hold assist, so it will hold the brakes for a moment to give my or give me a chance to get gas and lift the clutch, and hopefully that works. See if that does it. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm wheel spinning. I'm wheel spinning. Oh, oh. wheel spinning. 
Damn. Oh, oh, installing even with gas installed. I can't get up here. <laughs> that was wheels. I can smell my tires. I need momentum. I need a bit of a run up. No, nah, bro. I, I would not like to live on this, uh, in this neighborhood. Having to go up this hill every day? No, thanks. This is tricky now. I'm going to reverse back very carefully. That noise is just the brakes. And I'm going to have to do this with a bit of a run up. That was me putting my foot on the gas. It was wheel spinning. Stopped it wheel spinning, but then it just stalled. Either wheel spin or stall. You're snookered. You can't get up here. <laughs> Mind the sound of the brakes. That, that sound, that's normal. Brakes make that sound when you're yeah. on a steep hill. I'm going to try and do I've this. I've heard that many times before. Bit at a very, um, well, at an angle. I wouldn't go straight down here because I'll scrape my bottom for sure. And I think I did scrape something. There we go. So, oh, crikey. This time, a little bit of a run up and see what happens. So first gear, let's go for it. Okay, let's, let's check it. Go, go, go. Come on, come on car, come on. It's struggling, it's struggling. And now we're going. Once it gets the momentum, it, it's over. So you certainly can't do a hill start on this hill without using the gas, even in a car that gives you lots of help. <laughs> you can't do a hill start with the gas because it wheel spins. If you're wondering wow. why I call the accelerator pedal the gas pedal, even though I'm from the UK, this is a question I often get in the comments. It's because I'm a driving instructor and in the UK, driving instructors are generally trained to say gas because it's quicker. And I've been teaching people since 2009. So that's many years of calling the accelerator pedal the gas pedal. So it's just what I'm used to now. No worries. This time I'm going to do the hill without stopping just to see how easy it is if I don't make it harder and try and stop on the hill. So I'm in first gear, okay. leaving without the clutch stopping. up, coming in at an angle so I don't scrape. Now, oh, it did scrape. Now gas. Mm. Go, 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 go. Yes. I just it. about made it there, but I definitely, definitely heard something scrape. I'm pleased to say that there appears to be no damage to the underside of my car. At least from what I can see. That's good. But not everyone has been as oh, bro, look at all that all those scrapes in the road. On the road where many cars have bottomed out. No, I think it was crazy. the engine under trade that did the scraping because that's the lowest part under the car. Fortunately, there was no damage to my paintwork. I recommend learning to drive by adding gas and then lifting the clutch up. If you're learning to drive and you're only lifting the clutch, you might get into trouble when you drive different cars because not all cars add gas for you as you lift the clutch and not all cars are diesel. Okay, did in not know that. diesels, they don't even need to add gas for you. Mm. It's just that in a diesel, there's so much torque at idle that it just moves away anyway. But most cars that move away uh, without adding gas the computer is actually adding gas for you and <laughs> helping you. Even in diesels, it's often helping you by adding some Technology gas. Technology code nowadays, man. all manufacturers decide to add gas for you. It's not anything to do with it being the latest tech. I have a new car. Well, it's two years old, a, a Mazda MX-5. I have that at home and that doesn't help me. That's when quite I'm a cool away. car. If I lift the clutch up, it's likely lie. to stall unless I add gas and that car's still on sale today. You can still buy it. It's the latest tech, but the manufacturers made a decision not to add gas for you, probably for safety reasons. Okay. So someone who makes a mistake or doesn't know what they're doing, tries to move away, it just stalls, which you could argue is safer than the car going. So I recommend learning how to add gas before lifting clutch so that you have that skill and when you get into a car that doesn't help you, you will know what to do. I get plenty of people comment on this YouTube channel saying that yep. they've learned how to drive by lifting the clutch up and then they drive a different car and the car doesn't help them and they don't know what to do and they keep stalling. That, that is true, man. All about it. That happened to me before to as well. Up there in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you found the video interesting, wow, please man. give it a thumbs up. And if you look Honestly, that, that was an interesting video, not going to lie. Enjoyed that very much. We learned a few things as well. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.